Welcome back. The last two examples we're going to look at here are examples where we're going to give you a point, just like we've done on the other examples, so I know it goes through this point. Um, and then instead of giving you like the slope or something, we are going to tell you, well, the line we're trying to draw is either parallel to some other line. So in this case, we're saying the one that we want to try and find like the right, the equation for is parallel to y equals 4x plus 3. Or you might have one where it says, oh, you have a line that's perpendicular to this other line that we give you. Okay? And so we got to know how to deal with that. Now the trick to this is remembering what we talked about two lessons ago with parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines have the same slope. Perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. Okay? And so that's going to be the trick. So let's take a look at this and just see how we might approach this. So this one says, find the equation of a line parallel to y equals 4x plus 3 and through the point negative 5, 1. So we want to find the equation of this line. We're going to use y equals mx plus b. And we need to find, like always, we need to find the m and we need to find the b. Well, how are we going to do that? Well, the m actually turns out to be kind of the, the what unlocks this problem, the trick to this problem. If we know we have to be parallel to this line, we can actually figure out what our slope needs to be. Because if I look at this line, this line has a slope of 4. And we want to be parallel, which means, what do we know? Well, we know it should be the same slope. And so this means, since this line has a slope of 4, our new line should also have a slope of 4 because they're parallel. They have the same slope. So I take that slope and I'm going to put it in here because I know it has to be the same. And So we'll have y equals 4x and then the y-intercept we don't know yet. Now a lot of times students want to use this y-intercept right here. Do not do that. That's the y-intercept of this line. It's not the y-intercept of a line that goes through negative 5, 1. And so don't use the y-intercept there. We don't know that. We do know the slopes are the same because they're parallel. And so I have that down. And then from there, we're going to kind of do what we've been doing this whole time. We have this point here. Well, this point is an x and a y. And so I can take that. I can plug it in for x and y. And so I'd have 1 equals... 4 times negative 5 plus b. And then like before, we can just figure out what b is. And so this would be 1 equals negative 20 plus b. And then I would add 20 to both sides to get b by itself. And so we'll get have b equals 21. Now we have all the information we need. We know the slope is 4. We know the y-intercept is 21. Well, we can just put it into y equals mx plus b. And so our answer is going to be y equals 4x plus 21. Just like that. All right. And that's the process. Figure out what the slope is based off of this right here. We know it's parallel, so it has to be the same. So we keep that slope, put it in here, and then just use your slope as the x and the, or the point as the x and the y to find b. For our second one, we have a perpendicular one. And so what we need to remember with that is perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. So this one, this equation right here, it has a slope of 5 thirds, okay? Well, that's the slope of this line, but I'm making a line that's perpendicular to it, so the slope of the line that I'm making, we got to do the opposite reciprocal. In other words, this is a positive 5 thirds, so since it's positive, I'll make it negative, and then it's 5 over 3, I have to flip that upside down to make it 3 over 5. And so our new slope here that we're going to put into y equals 
mx plus b. That new slope is going to be negative 3 fifths. Basically, I just take the slope from here, I do the opposite reciprocal. So that's our new slope. We take it and we put it in our equation. So we'll have y equals negative 3 fifths x. And then again, we don't know the y-intercept. Keep it as a plus b. Again, sometimes students want to use this y-intercept up here, but we don't want to use it. That is not the y-intercept of a line that goes through 10, 1. Okay? So we just take our slope from here, do the opposite reciprocal, put it in. And then, just like all the other ones, we have a point here. It's an x and a y. We're going to plug these in. And so we'll have 1 equals negative 3 fifths times 10 plus b. All right. We go ahead, we solve for b. That's 1 equals negative 3 fifths times 10. That's actually negative 6 plus b. Add 6 to both sides. And we get b equals 7. And so we have a slope of negative 3 fifths, a y-intercept of 7. We can go ahead and write our equation. It's y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 7. All right, and that's the whole lesson. So as you can see, there's several different ways we did this, but every single one, we need the slope and y-intercept. Once we have those two pieces of information, we can just put it in y equals mx plus b, and we're done. So sometimes you're basically just given the information straight up, just put it into the equation. All right? Sometimes you'll be given a slope and a point. Remember, the slope goes in for the m, and then you use this point as the x and the y to find the b. If you're given two points, you got to start with the, by finding the slope, put that in, and then use one of these two points as the x and the y to find the b. And then with parallel and perpendicular, remember, you can find the slopes. If they're parallel, it should be the same, so keep it the same, and then put it in. If it's perpendicular, do the opposite reciprocal, and then put it in. And then with both of those, again, you take your point, your x and your y, put it in to find the b. All right. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, move on to the practice quiz and the practice problems. Make sure we have this down. Um, and like I said, any questions, let me know. Let's make sure we're ready for the test on Friday.